will you? Okay, baby. Here, here, I'll pay you now. Right on the nose, miss. Uh, I wonder if you could tell me I... I'm looking for Mr. Torgensen. Next car forward, drawing room A. Thank you. Sit down, Miss Wayne. Mr. Torgensen, my paper wants to know why Fitz Malarkey sold out to you. Why, there's nothing to it. Fitz wanted to sell. We're old buddies. I know a good buy when I see it, so I'm taking over. Do you know that several men in this town overbid you? I didn't make a bid. Fitz came up to Boston, told me he was tired of the racket. And he was going to get hooked to a good gal who didn't like the game, didn't like him mixed up in it. He offered to let me dig in for a million flat. Half down, the balance in five years. Anything wrong with that? No, nothing wrong with that. Are you taking over everything? The whole works. The racetrack, the fight arena, and the million club. And I'm going to run them like Fitz ran them, on the level. Do you happen to know why he passed up that 200 grand he was offered over your price? He could have sold to a half a dozen guys for more than I'm giving him. He wanted to leave his babies in good hands. He wants to live like what he calls a human being. That's his business. Me? Well, I like it like I am. A little rough, a little tough, a little nasty. But on the level. You know, I think you're pretty regular, Mr. Togan. Oh, I'm just a plain guy trying to earn a living. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Togan. Well, here we are. 